Fire Emblem Heroes. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Digi. Oh, and by the way, there's there's uh, the Fire Emblem and Ike. And oh, there's Marth. Okay. Hey, Ike is there. That means we have a potential to get an Ike. Hopefully, it'll be soon because I, I haven't seen Ike anywhere. Anywhere. Ike would be really cool. I think they're just really working hard on programming and figuring out what they can do because they got everybody else figured out and not Ike. It's okay. Today we are playing Fire Emblem Heroes. It'll be lots of fun, I'm hoping. There we go. Um, okay. So just a few things that come up. Um, just news and that. We have a voting gauntlet going on. So I guess the, the best thing to do, we'll, we'll start there. Why not? Voting gauntlet. Oh, you're not supposed to see that. No, that's for later. That's for later. We don't want to do that now. I don't want to do that one now. And we want to do that one. There we go. I like using ramen. As you can see, this is round two of the voting gauntlet. Sorry, I couldn't get round one. Um, I didn't get my equipment and stuff set up in time. But hey, we're here now, and we're winning because we're Minerva's army. Uh, the final round is probably going to be really hard, but that's okay. So what you do in the voting gauntlet with Fire Emblem, you go and you take your battle, and you get your unit. You get a friend's unit. And then you also get someone who is not your friend and just random player. And you get their unit to help you fight against three opposing units. Um, ooh. Kagero looks very dangerous. Loaded up with a bunch of different skills here. We got Warding Blow, Dagger Breaker. Oh, I'm not worried about that one, I guess. Hone Speed, uh, Rally Speed. My goodness. Okay, Takumi, he's, he just looks like he's... Loaded up with regular stuff that regular Takumi's got. And Lucina, who's also loaded up with regular stuff. Okay. Danger area is always good, because then we don't have to worry about where we're going to... If we're going to get hit or anything. Because we don't like getting hit. I think I'm just going to break the wall. We're just going to end our turn there. Anyways. Um, Fire Emblem. Lots of different things. You move your units around. You have lots of different stats. You've got... Well... In the games, you have more stats than this. But it, in, in Heroes, they simplify a lot of things. Um, 40 HP is usually max. Um, some other units will have more. But usually around 40 is when you hit level 40. Your attack, you got your speed, your defense, and your resistance. Um, I'll, we'll go into Robin and kind of go over some stuff. You can tell that over here, um, he's a little mage, so he does magic. So his attack is based off... It's... Uh, well, he will be attacking the resistance. We'll go with that. He'll be attacking the resistance of other units. As for Krom, who is a different unit, he'll probably be using defense for um, what he's attacking against. Right over here, our Krom, he'll be attacking against defense. So that attack stats, just kind of general, uh, depending on what type of unit you are. Uh, uh, speed, we'll go into that. Uh, if you are twice its speed or better. Or wait, no. My bad. If you have five more speed than the unit you're attacking, so krom has got 25, Lucina's got 27. Oh, there's a good example. Takumi has 35. So if Krom attacks Takumi, since Takumi is close counter, uh, Takumi will get two attacks instead of one. So we better watch out for that. Let's go. Um, let's break that wall down. And we're still going to end our turn and be careful here. Um, now here's what also you can do. You can highlight units and do that. If you hold on the unit, press and hold. Then you will get a little little highlight. It's kind of cool. Um, so I don't want Lucina to attack me because I really want just to deal with Takumi right away. Because Blavarin is good against Colorless. Yay. Am I taking this too long? I'm going way too in-depth with this. But I don't really care because we are going to take Takumi out. Aha. So there. Um, my worry now is Lucina getting too close to me. And same with Kagero. Yeah, but he's active. His his ability's nasty. Retribution deals 30% of damage suffered. And we just dealt him a lot of damage, so we kind of want to get rid of him. But I don't think Krom can, or uh, Robin can take a hit from Lucina and from Kagero. Or Ka Kagero? Ka Kagero? Kagero. We'll go with Kagero. Um, we'll take out Takumi for now and see see how that goes. Um, I'm going to move Krom back just so we can get Effie in there. And maybe she can help uh, do some damage control. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Oh, that's not good. No! No, Robin! No! I like my Robin! Oh, no. On the bright side, 
in this game, in Fire Emblem Heroes, you don't lose your unit. It will come back. They haven't instituted anything that will kill the unit. It kind of explains that in the storyline, which is cool. I might go a little bit through the storyline with this series, but for the most part, I kind of just want to want to have fun with you guys and just explain stuff and go through and play. Just play. Um, that and I don't want to go through the storyline because I don't want to spoil the storyline for anyone, you know? And I should have done Smite on Crump. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep walking. Hopefully we'll get to Kagero before she kills us. Walk over a little more. Okay, there we go. And we have our, our ability active. You'll notice the purple numbers on the units there. Uh, those signify how many turns until this guy goes off. So that's what that special thing is. Let's go. Oh, and we are definitely taking you out. Bam! No more holding back. And soul is a good, it, a good skill. It heals your unit. There's so many different skills and so many different units in this game. It's so much fun, and you can do lots of different combinations. Um, this is just one example. I just want to do the voting gauntlet and kind of explain a little things, a few things to get started here. Um, we'll do another battle. I might not explain as much stuff this time, though. Um, just for fun. Uh, oh, he was our friend unit. Uh, sure, why not? I have too many friends is pretty much what that is. <laughs> Uh, I've loaded up on friends on this on this game in the arena. You can fight and then ask them to be your friend, and everybody's pretty much accepted. So, so we get a hundred points for winning because I didn't use flags. I'm saving those for the third and final round of this of this uh, voting gauntlet because I want to. We're gonna have a hard battle, and it seems like we're already winning. So I don't think I need to push it too much here. So I'm a little worried because we have 23 hours left, so a whole day. But eh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, moving to arena duels. Those are a fun one. So based on how you're doing in the arena, I am tier 10 and the type of units that you bring in. So I got, I'm bringing level 40s. Um, it will match you up against different people. So if you have lower level units, don't be scared. You will be paired up against someone similar to that. Uh, and then also, as you see here, uh, we have Nav not Navar, Michaelis. Uh, we have him on our team, so we get some bonus points there. I think it's like, I don't know if it's exactly double, but it does it does help your score to have units like Krom and Michaelis in there. Um, I haven't tried to use everyone in there before, like all my units there, to see if that gives me a better score. But hey, I don't mind. I do good enough, in my opinion. So right now we're already at a chain bonus. We already have a chain going. I always go for advance because I can take them on, and it's just... Uh, um, since I'm able to take them on, I'm not as worried. Uh, so here's our team. We'll go. I'll go in and show you some stats. So there you go. If you know what those are, feel free. I'm not going to go into all of them. You know what? Fine. If you want to, feel free to pause the video. And you can see what those all do. If I'm going too fast, feel free to pause it. If not, you can, you can kind of read what most of those do um, pretty quickly. Most of the abilities are really similar in different things. Like all the B, the B skills are the same usually. All the C skills are the same. Ooh, let me start up top. Up top. There we go. Uh, dance is a really good skill to have though. So that's awesome. I sh probably should change her Fortify Dragon skill, but I just like it. And I want to use more dragons on my team and I just never do. Um, that one's a cool skill. It's a little new. And so, yeah, I got all five stars, and we're going to see what we can do here. Um, here, just for quick sake, we'll go over enemy units. I'm going to go a little faster over them, so I apologize if you can't read it. But we do want to get this going. I don't want to be boring you. I probably already have bored all of you half to death, so we're there. Okay, uh, there's our danger area, so it's not too big. So we'll probably be able to move in a little bit there and get closer. I kind of play a little cat and mouse with people where I'll get close and then back up and get close and back up and then we'll start the fight. Um, Let's go. See, like right now, I kind of want to back up a little bit because I don't think we got enough guys to take them out. Um, oh, but he's just going to come right over there and attack. So let's just... Let's just leave that be for the turn. Let Michaelis take the hit, and he will 
He will fight back and take on Erephim very well. Um, the reason why I did that, if you don't know Fire Emblem stuff... Oh, wow, that was strong. Okay. If you don't know Fire Emblem's uh, stuff and strategies, write down here. It's huge and very important. Uh, swords are better than axes, so red is... The reds are better than the greens, the greens are better than the blues, and blues are better than the reds. It's a nice little weapon triangle, so no one's really better than any every single unit. Everybody has kind of a kind of a way to um, equalize. I guess would be a good way of putting it. I'm a little worried for this, but here's what we're gonna do. We'll do this and attack and take out Arifim. Uh We're gonna give Michaelis a little extra move here, and we're gonna back up. I could draw her back, but I feel like she's going to do fine against Erica. 45 as compared to 26. We'll be fine. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, I didn't move my Kellis back far enough. Oh, no, my Kellis, no. Oh, no. Well, just so you know, if you lose a unit in the arena, you lose a lot of points. <laughs> you lose a lot of points. Um, so that's not good. That's kind of painful to see. Uh, but no worries. We'll keep fighting. We'll get some points. Because if you lose, you actually lose your streak. So you have to start all over. So I'd rather keep fighting than just give in right now. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Oh my gosh. That was so not nice. Oh, jeez. Robin. I am not winning. I'm not showing you a guy, guys a good example of this at all. But hey, you win some, you lose some. And this is my first video on this. And it just seems like we're going to lose some. And that's okay. Because the fun part is you just get to keep going. Um, I'm going to move... Yeah, we'll move out of the way over here. Oh, I'm sorry, Ninian. Oh, right. I'm trying... I may have been skipping some of the battle sequences up to this point. I apologize. I'm trying not to, but I am forgetful sometimes. I just get into the battle. It's just such a fun game. Um, I really like Fire Emblem Heroes. It's a nice little mini battle that I can kind of take with me on the road, you know? Move around and do dance. Get Krom going again so we can take out Takumi. Um, there we go. Bam! And we're ready for our skill, but I think we're going to be taken out by, uh, by Hector. Hector is an amazing unit. Oh, wait, we're not. Yes! Oh, apparently he says when winter's over. He took half damage from the next attack. Okay. Can we do it? Can we do it? Hey, we won! We did it! Hell, oh, woohoo! I was worried about Hector. He's an armored unit, which is why he's only moving one per turn instead of the regular two that everybody else got. But he hits hard and he can take damage. It is scary. Hector is a scary unit. If you get a chance to get Hector in this game, I highly recommend it. But yeah, uh, and you do lots of quests. Quests are fun. I apparently did a lot of things for quests in that battle. Okay. Um, all right. I'm not going to send because, sorry, we, we kind of, yeah, we already have too many friends. We've been over that. Total score and all that. Chain bonus. Yay, that's good. That's great. Um, I could go into the arena and explain that, but I think we're going to save that for another time since I did so much explaining earlier on in the episode. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. We did a couple battles. Um, I'm going to pick up my rewards real quick here with our, our, our quests and missions and stuff. Yay. Uh, quests are over here. You can kind of notice that. I'm gonna go on here real quick and say, hey, if you wanna, if you wanna um, shoot me a friend request, I'm gonna be clearing out my list here. Apparently, after this, since I got so many friends, uh, just clearing out how, uh, uh, people and stuff and people who aren't playing as much. You you can kind of tell. It'll give you a. It'll tell you how long uh, since their last play, and I usually clear them out. Uh, I don't really like to clear out just because you're high level or high unit. I do have a lot of uh, friends that are higher tiers, but, you know, uh, since they've played over four weeks ago, maybe I'll clear them out or something like that three weeks ago. So I, I usually like to keep clearing and keep getting new friends because it's fun to play that way. It's fun uh, since you have so many friends in your friends list. You can keep changing people out and saying hi, hi to everyone. It's kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, that is Fire Emblem Heroes and... 
we'll hopefully we'll be seeing more of this. I'll show you some more arena battles and some different units and some different battle styles and how to play in Fire Emblem. It's such a fun game. It's very tactical. And this, uh, this format speeds it up a lot. So that's really cool. And I will see you all then.